there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi! <laughs> I hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, whatever you've got going on, overnight, morning. I'm here for you. I hope you're having a good one. Um, today, as you can see, we've got quite the situation going on here. So um, this is going to be a um, time-lapsed kitten chat um, with the canvas Her Summoning by Ivy Dolomore from Diamond Art Club. This is a round drill canvas. Um, it is 50.7 by 65.8 centimeters, 60 colors and four ABs. And so um, I did unbox this kit as part of my Black Friday, Cyber Monday kind of purchase a mass unboxing where I just did kit after kit after kit. Um, six kits that I purchased during that time. Um, also, FYI, if you hear some cracking and crunching and licking and slurping, Apollo's got a raw bone out in the hall and he is going to town on that. So it helps to keep him calm. So my apologies if you hear him <laughs> munching on that. Um, but I did a partial, I was calling them partial unboxings because I didn't go through all the DMC codes, any of that stuff, but in that mass unboxing, I decided to pick one kit out of the six that I would go ahead and kit up and start working on. So um, this is what I ended up landing on. I love this image. I think it's fun. It's funky. It's weird. It's different. And it's just really cool. So um, I'm excited to get going on it. But this is a round drill canvas. And so I had the intention of really doing a lot of enhancements on this kit just to make it even more unique and different. So what I've done is I have all of our drills for this kit out on this side um, with the ABs clipped out. And then on this side I have, and you can see them kind of off to the side here, these containers. These are all my round special drills that I thought might maybe somehow somewhere work on this kit. Not every single little container, but I just grabbed the, you know, the, the, the box enlarge um, that I thought might have something in there that I could use. So I'm, I don't know exactly how in depth I'm gonna go with changing every single color or something like that, but I do see a lot of opportunity here for some adjustments. So I kind of wanted to walk everyone through how I approach this process and how I go about kitting up with my special drills in mind. So I want to do that and then once that's done, kind of recharting this a little bit, then we'll do the time lapse of the actual kitting up. So uh, real quick, in the um, mass unboxing, I didn't cover any of the toolkits for, oh, I covered the first one that I, just to show people what a toolkit looks like, but I didn't cover them for all six kits. So I promised that I would open the toolkit as I worked on these kits. So I've got it here. We'll just quickly breeze through what we've got in here. Um, just to say that we did it. We have a um, diamond painting drill tray. I'm seeing a couple different styles of these trays out now. There's like a white one that I saw. Um, in one of the boxes that I did. This is the, a clear one with gold flex diamond painting tray. You also have a purple diamond painting pen with a single placer, one drill at a time, as well as a little comfort grip that just slides right, right on top of there just to make it a little bit more comfortable to diamond paint with. You also get a seven placer, meaning you can place seven drills at a time. Boop, just like that. There you go. You also have your plate of wax. This um, this wax is what gets affixed inside of the pen to give it a little bit of tack and stickiness. You have two pieces of that, more than enough to get you through this canvas most likely. That comes in its own little carrying case. We also have a little set of storage baggies you can store your excess diamonds in when you're done with your canvas. You can actually pour your diamonds into these bags if you wanna use them to work out of, if you prefer not to use the bags that Diamond Art Club gives you. You also have a roll of washi tape. Ooh, that is nice. Nice foil washi tape. You can use this to border your canvas. There's a little excess adhesive that goes just beyond the drill field here. And sometimes your wrist can get stuck to it, sweater, fuzzies, cat hair, dog hair. So this can help to prevent that from happening. You can also use this to section off the clear plastic. 
And then we also have this cute little bear holding a pineapple. <laughs> this is a cover binder. It's used to hold back the plastic film on top of your diamond painting. So you're gonna go ahead and peel that back to reveal the adhesive so you can start working on it. Whoops. And you're just gonna put this on one side, your extra magnet on the back, and they find each other, and there you go. So there's that. And then when you're all done, you just can move it or remove it. So there is your toolkit. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay, so when I am looking at a canvas and deciding what I what changes I want to make, um, I used to just do um, kind of blanket statement. I will make all of this symbol or all of this color a complete one for one swap with an enhancement drill. And since I've uh, done more diamond painting, I've just, I've kind of come to realize that making those sweeping assumptions this early on um, is sometimes a little bit hard because once you actually get to that section, it might call for a different look or feel, or it doesn't make sense to have that particular color in that particular area. So now what I do is I always kit up every all the regular drills all of the drills that were provided with the kit and then any um, enhancement drill that I want to potentially swap out I include that in my storage container set as well so you'll we might stop during the kitting up process so I can so show you what that looks like but for instance uh, let's say for this 915 here this kind of magenta color, I want to do a crystal, I'll still put the 915 in my storage container labeled th color 33, but then I'll have a second container that says color 33 and enhancement on the sticker. That way I, I know that I can use one of those two when I get to it. So it leaves me that freedom. I haven't forced, I haven't put myself in a position where I only can use the enhancement drill, otherwise I have to hunt down the regular drill or decide I want an enhancement. I, I try to keep it all in there and essentially create a palette of colors to work off of. So, oh, actually, is that also an 80? One, two, we have five 80s. What am I talking about? <laughs> I was, it, I had to take a second look, double take. We have five 80s, okay, sorry. So, the first thing that I want to do is identify where the ABs go, the enhancement drills that Diamond Art Club has already provided. I don't have any intention of swapping those out for anything else. I like to use those specialty drills. I think the rendering artists do an excellent job of identifying where some key highlight areas are. I just want to elevate that a little bit and bring some more fun. So that's usually where my base is, is what has been provided already. So we're going to go ahead and look at those. So we've got this 107 AB, just kind of like a bright reddish AB. And it's that Aurora Borealis drill with that iridescence. So you're going to find that throughout the red in the entire kit. So on the tail here, there's some highlighting here in the center-ish. We also have some, it looks like, just right here. And then we have just a couple splotches of it here. And then a little bit here as well. And then a lot up in this portion. And then a little bit on, I believe that's an earring. Let me double check. Um, I like to always make sure that I have my original. And yes, she is wearing a bat earring and it looks like it's got like some kind of heart <laughs> on it. Um, yeah, interesting. So that has a little bit, it's almost like a charm. And then there's a little bit of an ear piercing. This is like a devil's trident ear earring that she's wearing. And then a little bit just right here on the top to accentuate her um, eyeshadow detail. Um, and then we've also got some of these little hearts here. There's also those ABs. So I think that's all really good placement. So I'm for the sake of just putting this where I see the most of it, I'm gonna go ahead and place that here, but I need to make note that it is kind of scattered throughout. So um, there's that. The next one that we have is going to be our number two, that's 113, that's a pink AB. And I'm, I'm seeing that here, and this is all just kind of kind of done in almost like a graffiti style, the, this pink background that's that's kind of surrounding her. So we've got a little bit here. Um, let's see if we have some touches of it elsewhere. Um, let's see, come with me, number two. Okay, um, 
yeah, just a, some touches of it here and there. Not very much. There's very little of this pink AB in the background. I'm going to put this here for now. Then we also have uh, coming up 126. This is kind of the, one of the bigger bags too. This is like a lavender, a really soft lavender AB, if you can see that. And this is number three, and this is all through these moon phases that isn't white, it's actually all AB in there, um, here as well. And it looks like that's where the majority of it is. It's outlining these stars here. It's doing a little work here, outlining these little shapes. So it makes some other appearances, but these moon phases are really what I'm seeing the most out of. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here. And then we also have 140, which is kind of a nice blue AB. That's gonna be here in um, her tears. Her tears have the 140 in it, and that might be the only spot that we have that is just in the tears. That's really cool, actually. I like that. So there's that. Last one is 141, just a teensy little handful of those, and that's number five. We're gonna see that in the whites of her eyes. Is that it? Um, yeah, I think we might just have that in the whites of her eyes. Interesting. Oh, nope, that's not it. That might be it. So we're just gonna put that right there. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that's kind of where we have the ABs, and I, I try to place my bags like where I see the majority of it, just to give me an idea of where that highlighting might pop up. Of course, that's not be all end all. That mauve um, or that light purple ends up on this side too. I just need to be cognizant of that, but it just gives me a rough idea. Ooh, there might be, yep, there's some one in here. This is the shine coming off of her bat earring is done in the white AB. Cool. Okay, so now that we have that set, we know what Diamond Art Club or whatever company you're working with has given us um, to work with. Let me see if I can turn. Nope, we're at max brightness. Um, so now that we, we've seen what they've given us, now I kind of go through and identify what else do I see here that I might want to do something interesting with. Um, and maybe I'll start at the bottom of the canvas or the top of the canvas. Usually I just kind of go top down and say, oh, I kind of want to change this up. So the first thing that I'm seeing in the streaks of her hair or in those highlights, um, we're seeing this um, upside down T color here. We're seeing some stars. We're seeing an arrow pointing down. We're seeing some A. Um, and then I'm going to look at where else I see that and see if there's other areas where I could use that same color. So that upside down T here um, is not really part of her hair. It's more of the smoke. Um, there's a little bit right here in her hair, um, but that upside down T is kind of a little bit of hair in her hair, a little bit on her nose, just because her nose is reflecting from the poisonous smoke or whatever's going on there. And that lowercase T can, um, continues all throughout that smoke, all the way down. We also see it a little bit wherever that smoke is, or that green is reflecting. So here on her, um, her bat wing, or her wings, we're seeing it all across, um, actually, nope, that's all a different color. We're seeing it down here towards the bottom of her arm, and then all up here too, a bunch up here. We're seeing it again here. So that color does get represented quite a bit in this canvas. So that is going to be, um, we're just referencing our color sheet, 912, which is this larger bag of this kind of green. And I've decided that I want that to do something a little bit extra with the canvas. And I would really like to find something similar to this that glows in the dark. So um, what I have here, oh, I don't have it here. Where did you go? Okay, so I've got my notebook and my pen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write 912 on a, a piece of paper. And then I'm gonna put my notes there, um, glow um, slash, if I can find a sparkler, I, that would be great. And I want it to match that color. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this color aside. I've made my note here. And I can also, at the same time, I just don't think I have anything. I can take a look at what I currently have in my stash that might work really, really well. Um, so I have this stuff here, and one of the things that jumped out to me is I have 
I have a couple of glow drills. So this one is a sparkler, spark mint glow. So I have that not quite dark enough. The next one that I have is sparkler opal glow glass, and this is sea foam. Once again, it's close, but the, you can see that sea foam, if you can see that, has more of a yellow tinge if you look at the glass on the top, sorry, as opposed to like a straight, you know, this kind of green. It's close. I could get away with that, but I want to see if I can get closer. So, um, so that's kind of how I go through that process. I take a look and see what's in my stash. Otherwise, I might need to jump in and, and purchase something else. Um, I do have these. They don't glow, though, but these are sparklers in neon lime. I really like those. I think we need to find a home for these. <laughs> um, I think those will look really good here. Um, okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and set this here because I need to do some research on dpwithsparklers.com and see if I can find something. Um, other options I could have here, I, I saw these immediately and thought these could work. Once again, they're not glow in the dark. That's the only thing. Um, but this is neon green from Diamond Dots. That's pretty darn close. If I wanted to make it a little bit more poppy and neon, I could go with that color instead. So get creative. You, you can decide what you want to do. Sometimes what I'll do is, as I'm kind of processing this, let's say I decided that this was a maybe, I'll go ahead and take this and put that here. That way, when I'm done with all this, I can go back through and just make sure that's what I want. But we're going to identify that as something to look into. Um, yeah, there's nothing else really I'm seeing. Okay. So, continuing to move on, um, we have this, let's see, is it represented anywhere in here? No, not really. I wanted to do something cool with her hair. It doesn't look like they put any of that 3AB in the actual streaks of her hair, and we don't see it anywhere, any of that blue AB. So maybe one of these blue colors in her hair might be fun to dress up a little bit and add some pop to. Um, so let's go ahead and look at, well, it seems like there's a significant amount of U up here at the top, just at the top, and then we transition to uh, color C down at the bottom. Um, we also have a hashtag symbol that is represented both on the top and the bottom here, the top and the bottom here. So that might give us a more even look going with that hashtag rather than one of the colors that's just at the top or just at the bottom, um, just like any normal <laughs> like hair highlights, you kind of want it to have some balance. So let's look at this hashtag symbol. Let's see if we might want to do something with that. And that is going to be 48 here, 3746. Let's find that, 3746. So it's this kind of purpley color. Let's see where else it's located on the canvas. We have it outlining all of the kind of the poisonous smoke stuff down here. Um, and that's really the only other place it is. So that might look kind of cool with the glow in the dark too, um, with, the, with the green. So I like this. I'm gonna identify this as one that I probably wanna do something with. And I'm just gonna step over here to my enhancement drills. And I mean, I have these that are all labeled. I don't see any 3746. That doesn't really matter to me um, as long as the color is fairly close, but I'm not seeing any crystals. And I don't know, I don't know. Let's see, let's see, what do we have here? This 155 looks potentially promising. So we've got this 155 crystal here. It's the second one. And then this is our drill. So it's not super far off. That might look pretty cute. I just don't know if I have enough of this to do the entire thing. So if, if this was going to be the one I'd go for, then I'd go and order an additional package of 155. But if I'm going to do that to spend the money and not use what I already have, then I might as well try to color match 3746, right? <laughs> Rather than buying the off color. So let's see if I have anything else I could potentially work into this. Um, I'm not really seeing too much in my stash. I was almost thinking these sugar plumbed gems might be cool, but that's a little too light. Once again, you could do it, but I want to get a little closer. 
or anything up here? Not really. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and write this one down and do some research. I think I'm, I want to find a sparkler that might give me some dimension, but is close to that. If I can't find anything that's close, um, I want just a, a straight crystal of that exact color. So I've written down 3746 crystal slash sparkle. Okay, so there's that one. All right, moving on. Um, I think we, I want to address the black. I want to do something cool with these moon phases, the opposite side. This is going to be an AB, but I kind of want the other side to be kind of cool and unique too. I think having these pop, these circles that have some pops of color will really brighten things up. So I, I think what I'd like to do is switch out the black that goes around these as well as what's in the middle with a metallic black. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. Da, da, da. Black metallic from Diamond Dots. Ooh, I forgot about these other ones. Okay, we might have some other stuff going on here too. Okay, so um, those are symbol dot, which is usually 310, but in this case it's a 939. So this is actually, hmm, does that change things for me? Hmm, it's actually a super deep blue. Usually that symbol's black. I thought we were working... I don't even think there's any 310 in this. Interesting, there's no black. It's that deep, deep blue in there. So my original plan was to replace it with the black metallic, and you can see what those look like. They're, they're metallic silver. They're not true black. But now that I'm seeing the fact that that's a deep blue... Hmm, that might change things for me. I'm gonna put these away for now. I'm gonna think about it. Um, let's see. I, I definitely wanna do something there. Hmm, okay, so that changes things for me. I was gonna do that metallic black. I thought that'd be cool. It might, st I don't know. Now, let's go ahead and write that one down. So that was 939. I think I want to find maybe a, a crystal or a sparkler that is, I'm sorry, a sparkler that is really close to that, like a deep colored crisp, uh, sparkler, 939. If you don't know the difference between the two, if I didn't mention it, a crystal is just a, um, a different style of drill that kind of has a metallic um, coating on the bottom. So it gives this more crystalline look. Um, and they're usually made from the same material as the rest of the, the diamonds, usually acrylic. Um, sparklers are specialty drills from DP with sparklers, and they're made of glass, and they have like a, a much different effect. So I'm going to put sparkler for that 939 and just see what we can do. And I'm going to set that over here. Okay, so moving on, and I just want it on these six moon phases. I don't want it anywhere else like in the background we'll leave all that the same okay moving on i'd like to do something cool with her earrings and the metal work that's in her ear so they've already done an a b in this but we can see these um she's got two little like hoops right here and then a little bit of work with the bat here um i want to identify what those grays are it looks like we're working with sorry if i'm sticking my head in the canvas a uh, plus sign Oh, it's a division sign. I can't see from here. And that is kind of like a, a tent, a campsite tent. I've never seen that symbol on a Diamond Art Club canvas before. Okay, so we are working with colors 318 and 414. Let's find them. Here's our 318. Okay, and our 414. So this, these are the colors that are over there in her jewelry. Both of them are just kind of a, a gray, which you'd expect because it's supposed to be like silver metal work. So not too far off from each other. I wanna make those metallic, or I wanna at least make one of them metallic. So let's go ahead and see what I've got in my bat, my little handy dandy bag of tricks here. Those galaxy drills are just gorgeous. I just don't think there's a home for them here. Okay. Sparkler. 
colors, sparklers. Mm hmm. Okay. And okay. Oh, I've got. I do think I have some black crystal that. Or maybe is that nine thirty nine? No. I'm I, I'm stuck on that nine thirty nine because I'm like, what am I gonna do there? Okay, so for these bits in her earrings, I think what I'm going to do is go with our lighter color, that 318. And this is going to be a little bit of a jump, but you can see that. So oh, I don't know if I like that now that I see them together. I was going to do the silver metallic. Let's look at this galaxy drill. That might look kind of cool in her ears. I just want to find a reason to use it. They're really pretty gems. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. So we're going to swap out in, in that particular area, the lighter gray for this cool kind of galaxy color. So I, I'm just curious to see how it turned out. It's a small piece of the overall composition. So it's not like we're doing a whole section of it. So for that, I already know I'm going to use this for this. So I'm going to go ahead and set my, what I've selected with that color on top. So we're good there. This one, I'm gonna leave alone the darker gray and it's gonna go back on the normal side. Okay, moving on. It goes a lot faster when you're not talking it all through, by the way. <laughs> okay, so from there, I think the last, I'm not sure. I think what I wanna do is look at um, picking a red to do as well. So we have these little splashes of AB here and here, and then we have these splashes of AB here and then up there. I usually will want to go with the next color in as my next specialty. That way it's not like specialty, regular specialty. It starts to look a little bit wonky when you alternate like that between regular drills and specialty. And I try to focus the specialty drills more towards the center of what I'm doing, almost once again, like a highlight. And you'll see that very much here where we've got our highlights down the center. So the next phase out will also be specialty, but not quite as intense, if that makes sense. Um, the other thing that I might also do, because these are such big swatches of color blocking, and if I decide to do like a sparkler in this section, I might checkerboard it so it breaks it up a little bit and makes it not as, as intense. It, it softens that effect slightly. So that symbol that I'm seeing next to all of these ABs is the little arrow up or little beep beep up. <laughs> and that is color. 11 and 11 is 321 which is this one here so yeah this would be a lot to enhance that entire thing in this brighter red but if I checkerboarded it or did some sort of outlining with the specialty drill that might that will help to soften a little bit honestly it's it's a deep enough color that I don't think it would look too crazy so I want to find a sparkler that matches with this I, I pulled um my glitter drills from Mooney made out because I was like, oh, maybe I could use my glitter drills. I just don't think this is the right canvas for those glitter drills. Maybe this deeper red in her, the heart, and maybe uh, that's already got some ABs. Uh, I don't know. What do you, it might look okay. It, the glittery, the, the gold glitter, I don't know why it just gives me kind of holiday Christmassy vibes. And I just, I didn't think that would work. If you can, if, if you're getting a good look, they've got like little gold flecks in them. I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't think of this canvas as being a gold glitter canvas. This is more cool tones for the most part, I guess. I don't know. Um, I just, I don't think it'll work. <laughs> so I'm not, I don't want to do it. Um, the other thing I was thinking is I, I always end up reaching for coral reef is one of my go-tos, but Coral Reef's a little too magenta, a little too pink for what we're doing here. So I want to find a sparkler that's kind of more of a, a true red, even, even a blood red, and do some funkiness down here and over here with that. It even starts to come in here kind of on the back of her, um, her outfit here, and we get a uh, no, we don't really get it up here either. So it's just kind of here, a little bit here and here. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and write this one down. 
ba, 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 where is my pen? So that is 321, and that is Sparkler. Okay. I wrote one of those colors as maybe a crystal, but I, I, if I can find them in sparklers, I almost always go with those. Okay, so I think I only want to do one other thing here. I want to do that secondary green and do something funky with that as well. Those greens are just really speaking to me. And so this that runs along her arm is symbol seven or number seven. And we find that, I think, just in this one area. Actually, there's little touches of it, but just here mainly going along her, her arm there. So um, that is going to be 164. And I think I already know what I want to do with this one. So this is a little bit of a softer, kind of almost a minty green. And I kind of want to bring it to life a little bit more, do something funky. So since I already have them and they already glow, I'm going to go ahead and do the seafoam glow glass for that. I think that yellow tinge to them speaks well to this, and I think those will look good together. So there is that. Um, I've got some other fun sparklers in here. What do you think? Should we look at these blues again in her hair? Let's look at these blues again in her hair. So we've got this U that basically stops here, and then we move into a C that goes down, and then we have this U up here as well. So let's take a, let's see, maybe we can do something with that U, which is a deeper blue. Um, that's gonna be da, 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 796 is our color. Got my, okay. So we've got the 796. Here it is. It's just like a nice straight navy blue. Let's do something fun with it. I, I am all about experimenting and trying some new fun things. So I have in my collection this hummingbird blue. A little bit lighter, but it has hits of the deepness to it. I say let's try it. So we're going to do that for that and... What else do I have in my stash that might be fun? I, so many of these neon drills would probably look so good, but we already have pretty close um, comparisons, like similar colors in what uh, Diamond Art Clubs are already given us. Otherwise, I'd probably do some more neons. I don't think it's going to change the effect that drastically, though, so I'll leave those. But I'm seeing a couple other colors here. I'm seeing this neon lime would be cool to use in this. I, I want to find a home for that. And then I'm seeing my tried and true aqua here, my aqua color. I always love working with that too. I just don't think we have a home for this because we have this AB. So let's put that away. I've also got a white pearl, but there's no real white in this canvas. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think let's let's see if we can find something cool to do with this neon. Because um, this is a little bit, this is even more neon than the Diamond Dots one. But honestly, honestly, I'm not seeing it. And I don't want to force it. I don't want to completely just, I mean, I am pulling pretty far away from, <laughs> from uh, what Diamond Art Club had charted, but I don't want to like, completely change an entire color, you know, so far. I, I don't know. I, I say that, but that's pretty much what I'm doing, but I don't want to force it. If I don't, if it doesn't feel right, then I usually won't pick it. I also saw, I have these um, specialty drills that are special shapes that I stripped out of um, a couple of small projects because I couldn't confirm if the small project image was uh, licensed or not, so I just took all the drills out of them, and I haven't used a single one. I've never found the right time to use these, like, different shaped drills, so I'm trying to see if there's anything here I can do. Um, do her eyes need something funky? Mm. No, she's got these little hearts on her cheeks. Do I have hearts in here? I could have sworn I had hearts. Hmm, guess not. Okay, 
Uh, oh, I do. They're just, no, those aren't hearts. No uh, we also have, let's see. What else? We have these little star, like a star here, a star here, a star here. Mm, those won't really work either. Hmm. I could go nuts and like replace her tears with these, <laughs> these blue teardrops, but I don't think I'm that brave. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> um, okay, I think that will do it. Ooh, but her lips though, her lips though, they look like they have some gloss on them. Okay, sorry, you're coming along. This is, this is my process. <laughs> Okay, let's look at those lips. Okay, we've got, usually when I do, when I wanna do a lip, I'll usually go with the most outermost color just to give that sheen right to the edge there. Um, or, I mean, it looks like they have it on both sides. So let's look at this P. What is P? Um, 24, and that is gonna be 602. Where are you, 602? Da, 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 da. Ah, here you are. Okay. So we've got this 602. Oh, you know what, though? They already have some pink AB in here. Hmm. Let's look for something anyway. I wouldn't mind those lips to be popping off. Um, the other color is J is a pretty prominent color. And that is... are you? Oh no! Have you? Do you ever have those moments where you're like, it's here, okay it's 27, <laughs> and that's 718. 718, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so we have the 602 is in there. And then this 718. Okay. I already know kind of one that I want to go with. Okay. So I think we'll just do the one. I for these for these little kind of odds and ends, I usually will just split like I'll I'll grab a few and then I'll just split the difference if I have something in my hands that I think might work. So look at Coral Reef, there she is. I really think Coral Reef would do well with this kind of magenta color here that's in her lips. So let's do that, and we'll leave the other color alone. So we'll put that back. So that's gonna give us the J comes right up against that A, B. It's kind of that secondary layer a little bit on top here. I think that'll look just fine. And then They've done an interesting color in here, almost like they tried to show her tongue through the through the poison, <laughs> but we'll leave all that alone. We'll leave her teeth alone. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna look pretty good. Um, so once I've done this, the last thing I wanna do just to verify that things are things are coming together is place these enhancements kind of near and near where they're gonna go and see if we've created a little bit more of a balance here. Come up here, my friend. Ooh, that mint glow might, no, okay, we're done, we're done. Um, <laughs> um, the sea foam's gonna go here. This is gonna go here. This is gonna go here. Um, this, I decided I wanted in my moon phases, so we'll put that here. We've got this going here, and then this is pretty prominent down here. So. Uh, keep in mind that this green is also on this side too, and this color, even though it's kind of out on its lonesome, there's going to be a lot of it, so I think that will help to bring some balance to it. Um, it's a little top-heavy, but that's okay. As you can see, it's focusing on our um, our subject's face, where your, your attention is going to be drawn. Now, if I had picked a bunch of enhancements and it was just like, this was nothing, and then there was just a bunch of stuff down here... Um, that might be a cause for concern to kind of reevaluate, but I think 
this will come out okay when all is said and done. Once again, this AB is also really prominent down here, so it, I just kind of, I just kind of put it where there was some. So I think we'll have some good balance here. This one is going to run all the way down her shoulder. Um, this one, this AB is going to be on both sides. So I think we're doing okay here. Um, no crystals, unless I can research what I put. 3746 if I can find a crystal version of that otherwise I'll probably lean more towards um, finding a sparkler. So now that we've identified what we're going to enhance you kind of have to decide how much of said thing that you want to purchase to offset what you're going to do. Um, so for instance this 912 here um, because I'm probably going to switch out all of this most likely um, I'm going to go ahead and get a, enough that seems like an equivalent. I usually, when I have a bag about this size, um, I'll usually get two bags of DP with sparklers. Um, and then if it's bigger than that, then I just kind of slowly increase. Sometimes for me, it, I, I say it's better to, even though shipping, but it's better to um, kind of under purchase than over purchase because a lot of times... Um, I don't always come back to this color because it's kind of specific to this kit. So I like to just get enough to get me by if I can. Of course, as you see over here, I have extras, but not a ton of extras. So there's that. Um, for, uh, for others that I know I'm not going to be doing the entire color, like this red, I'm most likely going to checkerboard. I'll probably do about half of what I think I need, which might still be two bags, but maybe I'll start with one and see where I get. I'm not, I'm not sure on that one maybe one bag. So there's that. And then especially for this that I'm only going to be doing around the moons to do something cool, I'll probably just get one bag of that and see where that gets me. So it can cause some stopping and starting um, in your kit. You have to set it aside until you order from Tima again. But shipping from Tima for me is always <laughs> really quick. It's like a couple of days and it gets to me. So I'm in a unique position where stuff gets to me fast. So I only have to pause for a couple of days. You could overbuy knowing that you're going to have that extra and you just store that. I mean, I do that here and there, but I try not to go nuts. Like I just have these extra two for this lime, um, a little bit for the, that, that my aqua, I could condense these down. So I do my, some part of my process is like, what can you use up that you already have sitting around um, as much as possible? So you can see we've got one, two, three, four colors that we're just using what was already sitting around. So that is my process. <laughs> it sounds like a lot. It goes much faster when I'm just picking and grabbing and swapping. Um, I can get this done in like, you know, 15 minutes and go from there. So um, what we're going to do now is cut into a time lapse of me actually getting all this kit kitted up. Um, rather, than, rather than stopping that process, I'm just going to show you um, what I do just so you can have a good visual. Because once those time lapses go, we don't want to stop them. So here I have the tray set that I'm going to be using. And so for instance, let's say um, I'm kidding up this 718 here, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kit up the 718. Boop, 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 boop. And that's, that's going to be color uh, 27. So that'll have a sticker on it that says 27. I'll place that here. And then um, right next to it, I'm going to grab this one, take my coral reef, boop, 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 and put 27 spark or something like that. So I know that's my enhancement drill for that. So when I get to it in the canvas, I can look at the canvas and say, do I want to go regular or do I want to enhance this piece? And that can be based on a number of things. I might do a whip and chat where I kind of talk you through that with this kit. Because um, I really want this kit to kind of be an experiment in enhancing um, and make it less uh, less taxing for people. It's it's not too bad. This seems like a lot, but you re it's really just kind of trying to find balance, identifying the colors that you really want to highlight or really want to showcase, identifying pieces of the art that you're like, I'm, I really love these moons. Let's do something weird with the moons. And you kind of just play with it. And, you know, worse comes to worse, you might have to remove a couple drills here and there. But my goal or my plan of attack is to always keep my originals and my enhancements in the kit 
That way you're not stuck with one or the other. If you get to a certain section, you're like, what was I thinking? That's going to look weird now that I've got these other sections done. You have your, what Diamond Art Club gave you as your fallback, ready to rock and roll. So, okay. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments. Um, if you do your process some kind of special way or a different way, make sure to, to let me know. This is just what's worked for me. Oh, um, last thing. So obviously some of this stuff I don't own yet, like the enhancements for this, the enhancements for the red. So you might be thinking, Anthony, what do you do in that case? You can do a couple of things. If you're pretty certain that you can get, um, get everything into a container, you can pre-label the container and write 17 Spark on it, and, um, even though Tima, you haven't gotten your stuff from Tima, and just leave the empty thing in there so when it comes in the mail, you pop them in. I know that an, one bag of drills from Tima or Sparklers will fit in one of these size containers from Art Dot. So just for each bag, leave yourself one container is how I would go about it, so. All right, so um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments, I'll be happy to answer those for you. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on kidding this up. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with family, friends, anyone that you think might take some value out of it. Watch through that time lapse, I'll put some fun music to it, and then yeah, we'll see you on the next video. And you should be seeing this um, working its way into whipping chats and stuff once I get everything in from Tima. So yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be ordering eh, one, two, three, four, five, around five to six bags of specialty drills from her. So once those come in, I'll add those into my organization container set and I'll get started. Thanks again so much and happy placing. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, um, next clip, right before we do the time-lapse, I'm so sorry, I, I got on DP with Sparklers, placed my order. I ended up doing two bags of um, fire sparklers for this one. I did two bags of royal purples. It's different shades of purple and blue. I think they'll look really good with this. And then for this one, I did, ooh, geez, what's it called? Um, it's called Black Ghost. I did two bags of that. That's going to go on the moons. I loved the name for this canvas. I was like, awesome. And then this one that I had identified to swap, I couldn't really find anything that was speaking to me for this color. So even though I was really kind of, it was the first one I picked and I was like, ooh, we'll do that all in the, the poisonous fog. I'm gonna leave this as is. I found another secondary color that's in our poisonous fog that's a much more subtle kind of light minty color. And I have these moonstones. So I think I'm gonna do Moonstone for that. It'll be a little bit more subtle, but I think it'll look just fine because we're also gonna have this one in the mix too. So it's gonna add a little bit of depth and dimension there. Maybe not as poppy and as impactful as, um, as we could have done it. And then I was also thinking maybe of grabbing out my neons, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So I think we've made our decisions here. We're, we've ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 enhancements, including the ones that were provided from Diamond Art Club. So um, now we'll go over to the time lapse and get this all kitted up. I'm just going to leave two empty containers for this one, two for this one, and two for that one. And that should have us pretty much golden. All right, let's go ahead and get this kitted up. Um. 